Hey everyone, I want to personally share with you what's been happening with me. On October 23rd, 2020, I was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer. I had a very large tumor attached to the wall of my intestine. It was located where my colon and rectum connect. The tumor had breached the wall of my intestine and latched onto some lymph nodes in the area of my pelvis. According to my oncologist, the tumor was found in a troublesome position. It was inoperable, so I had to go through chemotherapy and radiation before the tumor or remnants of it could be removed. It had to be shrunk in order to remove the affected colon area. My operation will be complex. After many tests and other medical procedures, I started my chemotherapy. I had a Mediport installed into my chest to make it easier to draw blood and inject all the chemotherapy drugs. I had received three kinds of chemo drugs every two weeks for four months. After that was done, I received six weeks of radiation and oral chemotherapy pills. During each treatment, I had a ball of chemochemicals that was infused into my bloodstream. It flowed constantly into my body for three days until it was empty. The chemo drug is called 5-FU, which sounds pretty obscene, and it is. It made me feel horrible. With all the different chemo drugs came a slew of slight effects, which I still have to deal with. At this point, the tumor is all but gone. The cancer at the moment is no longer detectable in my body. But that doesn't mean there is none there. Colon cancer tends to hide in the 22 feet of intestines. And, you know, it's been nine months since my diagnosis. Um, but that's that. So I think that pretty much sums up where I'm at now. I was so not prepared for this to happen to me, but it did. Who can possibly prepare for something like this? The answer is you can't. In a split second, you are facing a situation that seems unsolvable. Suddenly, you worry about your loved ones, how to provide for them, and how to be there when, they're, when they need you. You can't work. You're tired and in pain. You don't want to eat. You're emotional. You're afraid. You're fatigued and more. One of my lingering side effects is that I can't touch anything cold or my fingers get a shock and tingling sensation. If I touch anything too cold, it can hurt. I can't drink anything cold or my throat gets numb and it feels like it's closing up. The good news is that it seems to be dissipating. I think the worst side effect that I have to deal with now is chemo brain. It's a real thing. Look it up. It's awful. It's why I have to, to read this now. I'm, I'm reading off a teleprompter or my laptop or actually it's a tablet. Well, anyway, when my wife started that GoFundMe at the assistance of some dear friends, I thought $10,000 should get us by. Boy, was I wrong. The cost is already at least three times that. Cancer treatments are super expensive even before you start the actual chemotherapy. I was also informed that the operation that I will have won't be cheap either. But I know God will get us through. He's always gotten us through everything we have ever encountered. Now that I've spouted off, spouted off all this information, I want to speak to you from my heart. I've never felt so much love. I am so grateful to all of you for your encouragement, prayers, well wishes, financial support, and your personal cancer stories. How some of you have gone through situations far, far worse than mine. Stage 4 and 5 cancers, some with a terminal diagnosis. And you're healed now. That gives me so much hope and feeds my faith. Also, when I read that many of you have given all the glory to God for your healing, my heart leaps with joy. I am very thankful for all the incredible support and love from people I've never met. I feel God flowing and talking to me through all of you. You have brought tears to my eyes. Okay, yeah. I've been crying a lot. To me, you are angelic messengers of God. I only wish I could have been there for you when you were going through your ordeals. I consider you all family now, and I pray that one day I can bless, I can bless you the way that you have blessed me. Because of you, all is well with my soul. One more thing. If by chance someone is seeing this video and you are struggling with a sickness, addiction, bad situation, emotional pain, or, e or a seemingly dead end in your life, I want to point you towards an answer. The answer, I believe, is pressing into the presence of God. You were put here on this earth for a reason, and who knows better how to help you than the one who created you. If you ever get to the point where you think it's over, I want you to know that it's not over. Call on Jesus and watch a miracle happen within you. Who knew I would feel so much love and have so much joy while fighting stage 3 cancer by totally surrendering my trust and faith in God? Yet here I am. 
now. To all my colleagues and friends who have reached out to me, thank you. I know that I have not responded to many of you, and for that I am very sorry. The fact of the matter is, I don't want to bring people down with my situation. Please know that I appreciate all of you very much. I just want this to be all over so I can get back to doing what I love, making people laugh. I'm doing much better since the chemo and radiation is finished, and I'm getting stronger every day. I just have the surgery ahead of me. If the surgeon can get the damaged part of my colon out without me ending up with a colostomy bag, I'll be good to go. Hopefully, I'll be done with all of this soon. So thank you, and may God bring amazing blessings to you all.